Good evening everyone. So once again, we welcome you dito po sa ating Miracle Friday. And uh, truly God is so good. And as I hear all your testimony, all those supernatural work of God, all your uh, breakthrough, uh, all your victory, grabe po yung ginagawa talaga ng Lord sa mga buhay natin. And as we approach ito pong uh, last leg ng uh, 2021, patuloy na nararanasan natin yung significant success na ibinibig kay sa atin ng Diyos. In spite of all those challenges na kinaharap natin because of this pandemic, all those uh, financial uh, difficulty maaaring naranasan natin or maaaring magkaroon sa pamilya natin or tayo mismo personally naka-experience tayo ng health uh, situation sa life natin ay nakita pa rin natin ang significant move of God hindi lamang po sa buhay natin maging sa pamilya natin at maging sa ministry na pinagkatiwala sa atin ng Diyos. And ang uh, ngayong gabi pong ito, uh, as, uh, I, conti- as uh, I give uh, and share God's word ay patuloy na makita naman natin yung significant success na ibinigay sa atin ng Panginoon. Ang topic po natin ngayong uh, gabi ito ay living a significant life. How do we live a significant life? No? May, may mga pagkakataon kasi that we might feel overwhelmed. May tayong ma-overwhelm sa lahat ng mga naranasan natin, all those experiences, all those difficulties, and we might feel overwhelmed. No? At tinignan ko nga po sa dictionary anong ibig sabihin ng significant. Ang meaning po ng significant ay having meaning or purpose. No? Uh, siguro ito, alam mo, may meaning ang life. May meaning ang mga experiences na napagdaanan mo. Even itong mga hindi ganun kagandang experiences na naranasan natin for the past few years, ay alam natin may significant yan. And yung life natin yan, as uh, insignificant it might look right now, pero I believe na yung life po natin ngayong uh, uh, gabing ito ay makikita natin that we are living a significant life. But sometimes, uh, may mga pagkakataon na hindi natin nakikita yung tunay na significant ng life natin Just like uh, dito po sa pag-uusapan natin in the book of Jeremiah chapter 1, let's begin in verse 4. It says that the word of the Lord came to me saying, Before I form you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Grabe, meron palang uh, planong Diyos sa buhay ni Jeremiah. Just the same as He has a plan for each one of us. But just like Jeremiah, ang sabi po rito ni Jeremiah, As sovereign Lord, I said, I do not know how to speak. I'm only a child. So, parang sinasabi ni Jeremiah, Sino ba ako? I'm just a, an insignificant young person who don't even know how to speak. Sino rito pag binigyan ka ng God-given assignment, feeling mo, hindi mo kaya. Kasi may kita mo yung limitation mo, may kita mo yung uh, wala ka, no? yung uh, baaring mga failures na nagawa mo sa life. And it might cause you to doubt na may kaya ba akong i-contribute? Do I have significant meaning para magbigay ng uh, uh, tiyatawag natin na progress or achievement or uh, success dito sa pinagagawa sa akin? Ngayon po yung naramdaman nitong ni Prophet Jeremiah, sabi niya, bata pa ako, hindi pa ako magaling magsalita. How can God use me? No? When you look at your talents, when you look at your abilities, you might feel na, ano ang gagamitin ng Lord? Pero sabi po rito ng Panginoon, but the Lord said to me, do not say, I am only a child. Huwag po natin i-declare yung mga hindi natin kayang gawin. Huwag po natin i-declare yung mga limitation na meron tayo. Huwag natin i-declare yung mga bagay na wala pa sa atin ngayon. Parang yun yung sinasabi ng Panginoon. No? But sabi niya rito, but the Lord said to me, do not say I'm only a child, you must go. Ang dapat natin gawin is just to obey and follow the Lord. Go to everyone. I send you to and say whatever I command you. You know, nangingi lang ng Lord, it's not that uh, ibigay mo yung lahat ng galing mo at kakayanan mo. Of course, you need to do that. But you know what? The significant uh, success that you can achieve does not come from what you can do, but it, it, it comes from your obedience to the Lord. As you will obey the Lord, God is the one who will make a way. God will be the one who will make breakthrough. Na? Kaya lang, may mga pagkakataon kasi na tayo, 
Uh, we don't feel that we are significant. Now, how do we live a significant life? Number one, don't borrow significance. Huwag kang mag- Minsan kasi naghanap tayo ng significance, nanghihiram tayo. We look for, for outside of God to be to have significance in our life. That's why the number one, do not borrow significance. Saan ba tayo usually nagbabarrow ng significance natin? Number one, from people. No, kung may connection ka, you feel significant pagkasama mo to, kilalang tao or a powerful person you feel significant no? we might feel important because so, we are with important people no, pag wala na tayo sa mga mukhang important people in uh, uh, the world standard parang we feel insignificant ng uh, life natin but pag tayo ay rubbing shoulders with those people na kilala artista, showbiz man yan, or mga sports uh, personalities, or uh, even in the Christian world, no, pag ito ay kilalang speaker, kilalang pastors, and or bishop, and tayo ay kasama natin sila, we feel significant, but never borrow significance from these people, from who you associate with. Actually, si Lord never yan yung naging uh, uh, ginawa ng Panginoon, pa, pa, pamamaraan ng Lord. Usually nga si Lord, sabi nila, bakit nakasama lagi ng Lord yung mga poor people, yung mga drunkard, yung mga simple people. Because may mga pagkakataon na when we, we feel significant because of those people, eh ang nangyayari po sa atin, we just please people. Because when people look at us at kasama natin itong mga kilalang tao, powerful people, uh, people might look at us and say, wow, grabe, kilala pala niya. Uy, connect, may connection pala yan. But Jesus does not concern himself on all those things when he started his ministry here. No, aksara lang, makikita natin sa scripture, si ang ating Panginoon, he work with people that are uh, tinatawag natin, na sila po yung tinatawag natin na patapon sa lipunan. No, ito po yung mga rejected na people of society. And Jesus uh, ministered to them. Number two, we also uh, get significance, we borrow significance from our own performance. We feel that our life is uh, significant pag tayo po ay may magandang track record, no? magandang performance sa school, when we have achievement, no? uh, ay kaya, may mga kaya kang gawin, no? meron kang mga skill, ability, all those Thing, sometimes we feel na tayo is significant. Kaya minsan madalas nako-compare natin ang sarili natin with those people that are talented and has a skill. Pag nakita natin sa buti pa siya, magaling siyang kumanta. Buti pa siya, magaling siyang uh, uh, sumayaw. Magaling siyang magsalita. And when you look at yourself and you see yourself that you lack talent and skill and ability, then you, you don't feel significant. So you will try harder, you will work harder, no? and uh, hanggang sa magkaroon ka ng achievement, and the more you achieve, you feel, ito yung magbibigay sa'yo ng significant sa life mo. But the thing is, at the end of the road, after doing all those things, na-achieve mo lahat ng mga bagay na yon, you still feel empty and insignificant. Because hindi po ito yung nagbibigay sa atin, hindi po ito yung mahalaga on the long run na magbibigay sa atin ng significant sa life natin. Not the people, not the performance. And number three, sometimes you also look for position. No? Pag tayo ay in a position of authority, when we are in a position of power, we feel significant. When people look up at us, when we command, we feel significant. Pero all those three, yung people, performance, and position, it does not provide real significance in our life. So, how do we find significance in our life? Kung we don't need to borrow significance. Ang kailangan, believe in your significance. Believe na bago ka palang kamiit ni Lord, no? meron na siyang plano. So, that's number one. Believe in God's plan. Ikaw ay pinagplanuhan ng Diyos. Hindi ka product ng aksidente. Amen. God has a plan for you. Kaya nang sabi nga dito, dito sa binasa natin, in the life of Jeremiah, ang sabi ng Panginoon, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart, I appointed you as a prophet to the nation. Ganun din po. In our life, God has a plan for us. Hindi ka pa graduate ngayon, maaari nag-aaral ka pala ngayon o parang nagsisimula ka pa lang sa work mo pero may magandang plan ang Diyos dyan. May tinapoint na God-given assignment si Lord sa'yo. And those God-given assignment 
is a significant things that you can do. That's why you need to believe. Kailangan maniwala ka lang tayo. God has designed you purposely with a specific mission in mind. Merong mga skill set, may mga bagay na inilagay ang Diyos sa buhay mo that will allow you to fulfill that mission that God has intended to you. So, believe in God's plan number two. Believe in God's presence. May plan ang Diyos para matapos mo, magawa mo yung misyon na pinagagawa niya sa iyo. Pangalawa, manampalataya ka at maniwala ka. Believe in the presence of God. Sinasamahan ka pa ng Diyos. No, sabi rin ito ng uh, Bible in, uh, in Jeremiah chapter 1, dito sa pinag-uusapan natin, and in verse 8 and 19, twice, sinabi po ng Panginoon kay Jeremiah, Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you and will rescue you. No? Napakalaga na palang palatayaan natin no? na tayo ay uh, may significance, may plano ang Diyos. Pangalawa, may presensya ang Diyos. Kaya mapupulpil natin yung significant assignment na pinapagawa sa atin. Sabi ng Panginoon, I am with you and I will never leave you and forsake you. No? Number three, hindi lamang manampalataya tayo mag, 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 sa plano ng Diyos, hindi lang maniwala tayo sa presensya ng Diyos, pero maniwala tayo sa protection ng Diyos. No? When uh, Jeremiah told the Lord, I'm just a child, I don't know how to speak, ang pinapangitay, Lord, I'm so vulnerable. No? Lord, what can I offer? Pero sinip ng Lord, in verse 18, may binigay na three images of strength and protection ang God sa buhay ni Jeremiah. Anong sabi ni Lord sa verse 18? Sabi ni Lord, I have made you, number one, a fortified city. Number two, an iron pillar and a bronze wall. Wow! Triple protection. Pag yung city po ay fortified at ang mga pillar ay ayon, bakal, hindi ba to, and ang wall niya ay gawa sa bronze, I don't know, any any army can penetrate that city. No? I Meaning to say, that city is invincible. At sabi ng Lord Jeremiah, ganyan ka. No plans of the enemy can penetrate your life because God's protection is around you. Amen. Alam nyo, minsan, nakakatuno ng takot yung mga nangyayari. Of course, we feel that uh, we are not in control. No, Parang anything can happen. But we, can, we, we must not live in fear, but must continue to live in faith, believing that God is our protection. Kaya nga sabi niya, uh, Jesus told uh, in the Bible that in this world, we would have trouble. Hindi naman sinabi ng Lord na, hey, you will live a trouble-free life. Pero sabi ng Panginoon, in this world, you will have trouble. But take heart, sabi ng ating Panginoon Jesus, I have overcome the world. Yan. And God is protecting each one of us. So number number one, do not borrow uh, significant in your life, significance in your life. Number two, believe in your significance, that God has created you with His something in His mind because you are significant. And number three, behave like you're significant. No? Manampalataya tayo at hindi lang tayo manampalataya, mamumuhay tayo na tayo po ay may significance. Receiving all these assurances from God makes little difference unless we act on what He says. Unless we obey unless we follow, unless we live up. Alam, you know what? Ito yung sabi ng Lord, anak, you have a significant life, you are a fortified city, you are an iron pillar, you are a bronze wall, you need to say you can do great things, you are more than conqueror, yan ang mga pinangako sa'yo ng Diyos, pero yung life mo, you don't behave like that. You dapat tayo po ay mag-behave according to how God has designed us. Amen. Now, sabi po ng 1 Corinthians, ito po yung last passage na mamasahin natin, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, in verse 26 to 31, Brothers, think of what you were when you were called. Nung bago pa po tayo tinawag ng Panginoon, bawag tayo nakakilala sa Kanya, sabi nito ng, ni, ni, ni Paul in uh, the book of Corinthians, not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were influential. Not many of, of noble birth. But it does not stop God from using 
these people from using us to bring significant sa tinatawag natin na kingdom of God. We can bring significant sa kingdom of God in spite of uh, the perspective ng marami na tayo ay hindi matalino, in human standard, tayo ay hindi influential, hindi wala naman tayong noble birth. Now, let's continue. Sabi sa verse 27, But God choose the foolish things of this world to shame the wise. God choose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. He choose the lowly things of this world and despise things and the things that are not to nullify the things that are so that no one may boast before Him. And it is because of Him that you are in Christ Jesus who has become for us wisdom from God that is our righteousness, holiness, and redemption. Therefore, as it is written, let Him who boast, boast in the Lord. Mga kapatid, kung tayo po ay magmamalaki no, sa maaari natin i-accomplish, sa maaari natin magawa, or sa buhay na significant ngayon na pwede natin ipamuhay, it is because of our Lord Jesus Christ in our life, working through us in our life. And because of that, we can boast, not because of what we can do, but because of what God can do through us. Amen. So never feel you are small. Never feel that your life will not amount to anything. Never feel na hindi mo kaya ang ma-achieve ang great things na gusto ng Diyos sa buhay mo. Continue to believe because God is with you. God will empower you and God will allow you to experience the significant success na ipiniprepare niya sa mga buhay natin. Amen? So, patuloy po tayong umawak sa kanya at manampalatay. The very best is yet to come this year 2022. Maramat po pong gagawin ng ating Panginoon. Let's pray. Lord, salamat po sa gabing ito. Thank you for your word that remind us, Lord, that this evening uh, our life is significant not because of what we can do, not because of our performance, not because of the position that we are holding on, not because of the people that we know. Our life is significant because our life belongs to you. And I am Panginoon that we will be able to fulfill and uh, to uh, finish our God-given assignment. At patuloy, Panginoon, magamit mo mga buhay namin. Ano man yung mga limitation na meron kami, Lord God, we know you can work in our life. And we will just, we need, we just need to trust you. We just need to believe in you, Lord God, na ikaw ang kikilo sa mga buhay namin. And for those people, Panginoon, na nakikinig ngayong gabing ito, at wala pang significant yung life nila, because wala pa silang personal relationship with you. I pray that they will continue to acknowledge, Lord God, the, the, uh, yung pangangailangan nila sa buhay nila ng isang, uh, sa, ng isang uh, Savior, ng isang Lord na maggagabay sa kanila. And I pray that they will surrender their life to you. If you are that person, you want to receive Jesus Christ in your life, you might be looking for significance in your life, trinay mo na maraming mga bagay, maaari nag-try ka na ng vision, nag-try ka na ng relationship, and you find yourself empty and looking for something that will bring meaning to your life. I tell you, you need to have God. You need to have Jesus Christ in your life. And if you know that God wants you to receive Him in your life, you just come to Him, open up your heart, acknowledge, admit that you are sinful and that you are in need of God's forgiveness and salvation. And God will be with you and He will become your Lord and your Savior this afternoon. Once again, Lord, we honor you and we praise you. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, this we pray. Amen and Amen. So once again, salamat po for this wonderful evening. Shalom, share six family.